what's up guys happy fall and welcome back to another video in this video I'm gonna be showing my uh, psychedelic blues film and I shot that twice so I'm gonna give a quick little recap on that I was also shooting with the Minolta Hymatic 11 and I was still trying to check out what the automatic exposure would do see how that actually rates out so some of the shots shots are like super exposed that's kind of why like I didn't really have any control of it so I just kind of let the camera do the thinking so <laughs> I mean I think they still came out good so I'll let y'all be the judge of that psychedelic films is a really cool film by uh, a guy named Dustin Adams and before I go into it come check it out for yourself <laughs> What's up guys? Um, as you can tell, it's raining pretty hard and I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm going to try to get some film shots in the rain. If it'll let up, hopefully get some reflection shots or maybe just some cool vibes, but let's see. Thank you. 
How about that for a splash of color? <laughs> that film was really popping. And I know what you might think. It's not like a everyday type of film, but it was really cool to check it out because I know me, I love like controlled chaos. Like this film, it's not like light leaks, but it has like different splashes of different colors all around. Really colorful. And what that Dustin Adams did was he kind of like uh, blew some fog on the film. So that's what all the different splotches are. And it's a Kodak Gold film with like different fogs on it. And he, I think he's up to like di four different type of roles. And each one has a little bit different than the last one. And also what I like is I just saw yesterday on Instagram that uh, he just changed a new design layout for the film canister. But it's really dope. Good job on that. And it reminds me of uh, Cosmo. <laughs> Remember that? Cosmo photo? They really have some really dope like designs. Like uh, Russia, Soviet, old school astronaut vibe. And then this one's all like bubbly font. <laughs> it's really cool. And also I must say that it was really cool to shoot in the rain. Because it was kind of something I was hoping to do every once in a while. But then I kind of, I will say I got like motivated by... Some guy named Evan, I saw in some video, he like, does like photo vlogs in the rain. So I said, what the heck, why not? I know it's super, super pouring down. And hopefully my camera won't get soaked, but... <laughs> and luckily it didn't, so... And... There was this one shot, it was like in between the gutter, and I saw like a person, like, through the gutter. So I... I wasn't sure how this focusing would get it through but I just like try to position it right and it was raining hard so it's kind of hard to see and then I just so happened it got it just right so I'm really stoked about that and then of course I try to shoot inside and like with different conditions but with either with the metering or just in general some of the shots were like super dark but even when they were dark, like the colors just came out and I think it was still popping. <laughs> so if you were like to use this film, I would definitely try like to have like some uh, sunny conditions and it's not like everyday use, but it's really good for creative like portrait or I would even say really good landscape if you just want to add like some colors to that, like different like streaks. So thanks for watching and definitely check out his website and I'll put it down below and be sure to check it out because when I was checking it out, every single time I checked it out, it was like film stock out of stock. <laughs> but last time I checked last night, I had some up there, so you might get lucky. And I definitely saw this way back when I was checking out uh, Old School Photo Lab. I was checking out their like Instagram and they usually shut out or like put up like different film stocks that they get in through the mail and I happy one of them checked it out and of course it was like out of stock for like three months every time I checked it out and one day I finally checked it out and <laughs> I got like two rolls just to check it out so definitely if you're thinking about getting it don't hesitate because it's really in demand <laughs> thanks for watching and hopefully see you around next time Leave a comment down below of what your favorite shot was. And let me know if you want to see anything else in the future. Until then.